Hello everyone, in this episode I'd like to show you some changes in Microsoft Forms. So, the first thing is the home page. As you see, if I logged in through the nine dots and chose Forms, actually I got to uh, a page which shows me this, but you see for instance the form and quiz is in a drop down. Um, but if we log in through forms.microsoft.com, we will get to a place uh, or a page which is totally different. So you see here the new form, new quiz and quick import is actually um, showing uh, compared to the uh, previous page. So this is the first ch change. Second of all, if you notice, you see if I, you want to see all of your forms, you need to go here to all of my forms. Well, this is the old way of doing things. The new look up, look, look and feel is actually, we see here we have the recent, we have my forms, and actually this gives us everything. We see here the recycle bin, we can create collections. We don't need to actually uh, look or scroll down and to look for all of the files, all of my files. So this is how it looks here. Uh, if this was a list, then we would see it also like this. So instead of doing this, we have a tab to do that. So what else can we do? So second of all, uh, as we saw here on top, we have some templates that I guess you, you know, uh, but we have a quick import. Quick import actually lets us import a word or a PDF until now it was possible only to a quiz. If we want to see how uh, uh, example for instance then we see here some important guidelines like multiple choice and text. So um, if we just click here actually we will see uh, that we can choose a file. This is the upload form and until now we only could do quiz. Now we can also import it to a, a poll or form. So let's test the form and it's waiting to convert and if the word was uh, created in the same structure that is recommended we could start reviewing it. I see uh, I have no errors, I have a title, I have a choice column, a choice question, I have a text and another choice and now I can edit it or do anything I want. So in this change actually we now can not only create a, a quiz but also um, a form. So let's go back and actually see what else we have. So and up until now it was not possible to do this quick import to a group form. So if I go here to the group, one of the groups, now we see it, now we can import it. We have the two choices. Let's choose again the, the file. And we can choose this time we'll make a quiz. Quiz enables to do some tests and you can assign points and also the correct answer. So in this case, you see it created this quiz and actually you can mark what is the right answer and you can say that this question you get 10 points. So uh, that's cool. Uh, let's go on and see what's new. Okay. Next thing is actually that what we can do is if we go into one of the forms Actually, we will see here uh, present. This present was not there until now. If we looked up until now, we would hear, see here some uh, graphs and responses. So let's just fill out some example. I'll enter this and we will see how it's presented. So I'll submit it and now uh, we we see this and we can go back and see the response 
and as you see I have um, some statistics. Now we can see it in a modern way. If we click here on the present, we will see actually for each question um, a nice way of uh, presenting it. So this is for question one. This is for question two. It depends really on the type of the question. It will present it uh, sometimes as a word cloud. Uh, and you see here also there's a, a QR that uh, you can scan it and send it to someone. So that's a nice refresh, uh, a fresh change. And um, this is more or less what I wanted to show you. So in summarize, what we saw is that actually we have, um, we can see all of the possibilities of creating forms, new form, quiz, and quick import. It's possible now in a form uh, group. And it's also possible to import uh, both to a form and a quiz. And last thing, as I showed you, um, you can um, do the, the present. So, hope you learned something new. And if it gets to your tenant, try it. If you like my channel, subscribe. And see you in the next episode. Goodbye.